channel my name is Pilumi if it's your first time coming across my videos thank you so much for tuning in please do subscribe to my channel and if you're a returning viewer I love you love you love you so much thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos so today is a challenge video and a collaboration with a fellow youtuber by the name of Dami Dimensions um, she uploads YouTube <laughs> she uploads story tutorials here on YouTube and I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description box below so please do check out her channel so we decided to choose a fabric that we don't like working with um, I make something out of it so I chose chiffon I don't like chiffon it's slippery you can easily make mistakes it's hard to correct those mistakes you know I just I just don't like it although it does have like nice patterns and you know it's usually floral um, and Dami chose sequin she doesn't like working with sequin and she's gonna make something out of a sequin fabric so if you want to see what she made and how she made it uh, please do check out her video and I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description box as well so I decided to use this chiffon fabric, fabric that I've had for a while to make a sleeveless dress uh, I chose a sleeveless dress because it has a lot of patterns and I just thought um having that pattern on my sleeve again would be just too much and i think this came out okay i think i think i did good um i've also made a, a dress um using chiffon on this channel before so please do check that out as well i think that one came out good i've been wearing it a lot um so if you do find this tutorial helpful or inspiring let me know and if you follow my tutorials please share creations with me on instagram at miss underscore plumes like the videos co comments leave a comment below tell me what you think about um working with uh, chiffon fabric or any other fabric that you don't like working with all right that's all for now let's get right on onto the tutorial and i'll see you in my next video bye Material needed for this project are pattern paper, rulers, other pattern making materials, really scissors, I'm using three yards of chiffon and matching lining. To begin the pattern making process, fold the pattern paper in half to create the center front. A full front pattern is needed for this dress. At the top of the pattern paper, mark the waist to hip measurement and square this measurement across. Dats will not be included in this dress because I really do not like chiffon and I try to avoid many stitches um, when I'm working with it. Next, mark the desired length of the skirt plus one inch for hemming allowance. At the top of the paper, which is the waistline, mark quarter of the waist measurement plus one inch for seam allowance. On the hip line, mark quarter of the hip measurement plus one inch for seam allowance as well. For the hem of the skirt, add two inches to what you marked at the waistline. Then join all the points together. Curve the hip point so it's not too pointy. It's better to use a hip curve for this. Cut out the pattern to reveal the full front of the skirt. This pattern will be also used to cut the fabric and the lining for the back panel as well. To make the body's pattern, start by folding the pattern paper in half. Make a horizontal line at the top which will be the reference line. Starting at this reference line, mark the ample measurement and square this across. Mark the shoulder to waist measurement plus 1 inch to join the skirt to the bodies to create the full dress. On the reference line, mark 8 inches. 3 inches for the neckline and 5 for the shoulder line. At the shoulder point, come down by half an inch and draw the shoulder line starting from the 3 inch point of the neckline.
mark the midpoint of the armhole take this midpoint in by quarter of an inch draw a straight line from the shoulder point to the, mid, to the armhole midpoint mark quarter of the bust measurement on the chest line plus one inch similar ones from the armhole midpoint, draw a curve to meet the boss circumference point. Next, mark the front waistline measurement plus 1 inch seam allowance. Join all the points together with the straight stitch and cut it out. After cutting out the pattern, open it to reveal the full front. Determine how deep you want the V neck to be and draw a slightly curved line from the shoulder line to the waistline. I marked about 2 inches above the waistline. Cut along the curved line, but at this point I decided to make mine a bit deeper than the initial line I drew. Remember to consider sewing the lines here as well. Time to use the patterns to cut out the fabric and the lining. Fold the skirt pattern and the fabric in half and place on the fold to cut out the skirt's front panel. Use the same pattern to cut out the back panel as well, but not on the fold. Do the same for the main fabric as well. Place the back bodies pattern on the fabric that should be folded in, in two and cut the fabric out. the right to cut the wrap front place the fabric right sides facing and cut it out using the pattern that should be securely pinned on the fabric to create the pleat it's on the front panel of the skirt pin the fabric at the top of the full front pattern Begin to pleat the fabric and paint the pattern to hold the pleats together. There is no need for measurement for this, just eyeball it and make it as equal as possible. Once you're done pleating the fabric, cut out the excess fabrics on the sides. To hold the pleats together, I use this stay gum or, or hem gum. Um, cut out small pieces and place them with the pleats and iron it down to make it stick. Next, place the back panels and the front panels right side together. Pin on both sides and join together using a straight stitch all the way down. Do this for the lining fabric of the skirt as well. Moving on to the bodies, join the front and back panels together by the shoulders using a straight stitch. Do this for the lining as well. And press the seams open. Match the seams of the main fabric and the lining fabric at the shoulders and pin. Also pin along the armhole all the way along the front neckline and the back neckline. Join all seams with a straight stitch. After stitching, notch all along the curve of the armhole and the neckline to make it easy to turn over and to prevent it from bunching on the right side. Once you're done notching, turn it right side out and press.
prevent everything from moving around while I continued sewing, I used a zigzag stitch to join the main fabric to the lining fabric all along the open perimeters. I did this for the skirt and the body pieces. Place the bodice piece right sides together, pin one end of the front piece to the opposite side of the back panel, do this for the other side and finally pin along the sides and join together with a straight stitch. To join the skirt and the bodice to create the dress, Place both right sides together, pin along the waist ensuring the seams are matching. Sew along the waist with a straight stitch. Remember to always press your seams as you sew, it gives it a good finish at the end. The final step is to add the zipper to the back of the dress and close the back. I chose to use an invisible zipper for this and then I finished up the back by sewing down. A straight stitch. If you watched this tutorial up to this point, thank you so much for your patience. And if you sewed along as as you're watching, and you, you should be done with your dress by now, and it's time to rock it. Share your creations with me by tagging me on Instagram at Miss underscore Pilings. See you in my next video. Bye.